Hey everybody, my name is John Capobianco, and I hope you watched the video before this that showed you um, how the differential looks with the button click and the four use cases. Let's do a code tour and I'll try to explain how I put that together, okay? Now there's a lot of moving parts, but it's not that difficult. We're going to need URLs, okay? So here are our URLs, slash changes for our change center, and then learn VLAN changes with, right, the changes view and the learn VLAN changes view. So we need two new views, and we're gonna give this one a name, learn VLAN changes, right? So that means we need two new templates that I'll come back to. We'll come back to the presentation, but let's go to the view, and I'm gonna show you this view. Okay, so I've made it all the way at the bottom of the file. I'm building at the bottom with changes. Now, now, don't be too shocked. I'm gonna break it down for everybody here. And let me put some breakpoints in. And explain what's going on here. So this is just my render, the basic change. And that change template looks something like this. It's just a basic table. Is the server running? That looks um, like this. Okay, so a table with the button, and when I click the button, roll over to the results page and invoke the script. Okay, right, so go to that learn changes, and I don't even need a button ID anymore, I'm not using that, um, but we'll just leave it with a button ID. Okay, so then, what is the view VLAN changes doing, the action? Well, first, let me show you the database real quick. Let me show you the database in the admin panel and I'll show you something. Now, when I say latest, right, I don't want to get confused here. What I mean is all records like this with the same timestamp, right? So it would be all of these records, not just the first record, the latest record. I want all records that share a timestamp that represent they were gathered together, the state of all VLANs. All right? So I get that timestamp. And then I set current VLANs. Now let me break this down further. Okay, so what we have is dot objects dot filter. And now hang on. So let's stop here. So I'm filtering based on that timestamp equals this latest timestamp dot timestamp, right? So filter all the results to capture those first eight records or whatever. Now, what is this values doing? Well, think of it this way. If I included the timestamp field in the differential, it's always going to think there's a differential because the timestamps are never going to match, right? My, when I go capture the current state of the network from the network, that timestamp is never going to match my database timestamp. So it's always going to think there's a differential and I don't want that. I only want, right? Let's say these fields from, right? Back to the model, right? So all these fields here, include them in the results, but don't bring in the timestamp, okay? Now, that is in a little a variable called current VLANs. So now this line triggers the PI ATS job to go learn the VLANs, which will make a new set of records. So then I set up a new timestamp and I do the exact same thing. So now I have current VLANs, latest VLANs. And what I do is I set up the removals and the additions to be either the current or the latest VLANs dot difference and then the opposite data set to see if something has been removed from the configuration 
or added to the configuration. You follow so far? Now I'm passing all this in as context so that I have access to these results as variables that I can bring into my presentation, meaning render learn VLAN changes and make these variables accessible to that template. So now let's look at that template after I do this without breaking anything. Okay, so now let's go look at the template. And um, I didn't mean to change, sorry. Uh, the template, here's the template. So what I'm saying is, if it's not empty, then say it's detected some following, right, additions. And else, say there we have not detected any additions. Same as removals. Are there any removals? If there are, display them. Else, display that there's no removals. So that is the code tour. Again, let's watch it in action. There is no difference right now between the last data set. So when I click this, I should get no differences. And let me quickly sign back into the router. And right, if I do show VLAN, um, right, conf t VLAN 200, name Merlin add, in VLAN 200, description Merlin add, no shut, no shut. <laughs> and let's go back here and just to show you, right, from the code tour. So there it kicks off, right? I'm, and now it'll roll over and tell me that I've added something. And we can do the same thing for removals or ads and removals together. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So what's next? Well, I think it might help you to see me write one from scratch. And I have learn VRFs and show version to do. So I'm going to put a breakpoint in here, wrap up this video, and then I will move along to showing you how to write one of your own. All right. Stay safe. We'll see you soon.